Good morning. So I was chatting to uh, one of the ladies yesterday and she was sending me pictures of her, her food and uh, like food diary, bit of like, like, is this enough? Is this too much? Is this too little? And um, as I said, it's, it's a really interesting one because we don't really know. And it's a bit like when I go to um, the Turkish barber and, and, or any barber really, and they go like this and they go, that much? And I go, I'm like, no, I want it a little bit of length on top still. And they go, okay, this much? And I'm like, looks the same to me. I don't, I don't really know. And I'm like, I don't know, let's just go for it. Um, you're supposed to make that choice. And, and it comes back to knowing what to eat, how much, is this enough for me? And this, this actually is a really interesting one because we've gone from almost being too rigid in the dieting industry is what my observation would be like, where you have to eat chicken, broccoli, and rice um, or no carbs ever etc to to now being where we're in a position where it's it's almost like we're too flexible like everything in moderation what the hell is moderation can you trick yourself with moderation and go yeah that's all right everything in moderation and then ultimately we stay stuck because we feel like we're restricting but we're not we're not almost we're not getting the results we want to see now this takes a bit of trial and error and it also depends on where you're at right now but something we're going to be going over in the free five-day kickstart, which is on the 24th of October, link above or in the comments, by the way, if you want to join us for that, is a really simple plan that you can just add into your routine so that we can go over, okay, if you're not, let's look at what you're currently doing. Like, let's say you're really struggling with protein at the moment, which a lot of people are. Let's look at, okay, where are you struggling with it? And like I said yesterday, a lot of people are like, yeah, breakfast, lunches, like dinner, evening meal is fine, I'm always eating protein. Perhaps not to struggle for ideas. Okay, cool, let's go in for that right now. Is it as simple as replacing my, my normal soup and adding some chicken to it? Is it replacing it with um, one of those, quite like the Yorkshire provender soups that are ready done if you're really struggling for time? These are just examples, they're not right or wrong. But actually, because we're getting more protein in, we're thinking about what we can add in, by default, we're probably gonna take something away. When you take something away, that could help create a calorie deficit. And sometimes it's flipping the way we think about this. Not just what can we take away, what can we add in? Because we know, like I said before, people who have protein at breakfast subconsciously eat less throughout the day, which is obviously where we almost want to be. So it's almost on autopilot. Good morning, Joss. So looking at the protein intake, or it could be that we're looking at, looking at carbohydrates. Like, and I say this from a point of view of, you know, one person, this is something that we'll go over in the evening Q and A, so it's a bit more personal, but, Someone might go, yeah, I always avoid carbs, and in the evening I'm just starving, ravenous, hungry. And, and sometimes this is a case of actually eating too little in the day, and actually we would do better going back to basics with like three meals a day and be feeling more in control of our hunger rather than restrict, 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 and then almost letting it, letting it all go in the evening and just kind of picking, snacking. Because, you know, I spoke to people before, they've done really like well, so to speak, like quite low calories in the day, and then they're like, Oh yeah, then I just get like the rice cakes or crackers out, cheese, and all of a sudden they've had like 800 calories of crackers, cheese, biscuits, etc. And sometimes we go into that mode of, you know, we have had two, I might as well just have another. And, and something we're going to be touching on in the kickstart is how to overcome this. Going over a few strategies that you can apply to one, make your environment better, create an environment that actually works for you. We know this from research, like as simple as making sure everything you have is from crockery, sitting down when you eat. That's a, a real simple thing that probably goes above and beyond um, to extend how much protein you eat in a meal. Like just sitting down, I think how many people actually do sit down when they have snacks. They're, it's a thriving industry, isn't it? Like it lasts really long, so it doesn't have much moisture in it because moisture is the thing that can make it go off. So that means it's more dense in terms of calories because it's not as voluminous. Take you know, grapes, for example, they're quite voluminous, they've got a lot of water in them. Compare that to raisins, and that pretty much sums up, like, it's not, I think it's raisins, but that's like the snack aisle, right? Like biscuits, healthy biscuits, quote unquote. Um, granola, things like that. Um, morning then, and, you know, we want to get into that stage of going, okay, if we're going to have this stuff, can I portion it, can I sit down? You know, how much, what do I do when I watch TV? Is it that I need to watch less TV? There's a study out quite recently, like, people who did better watched, I think it was less than nine hours of TV a week, something like that. It's not saying that you can't watch TV, but like, I know I'm like, when I sit down in the evening, it's like, mm, yeah. 
I, I think TV is not good enough to keep us entertained. We need something to do with our hands, and that's you know one of those crochet, um, reading. <sighs> yeah. So, so, what can we do instead? Sometimes is another thing that we can go into. But if you're joining us, morning Lara, for our free five day kickstart, um, comment below. Um, or I will put the link in above below somewhere where you can register for that. That's 24th of October we go live on that. A really good way to kickstart it. We're going over short little habit each day, 10 minute exercise you can fit into your routine in, even on your busiest, most stressful day. So I will see you then. Take care.